Welcome to Mommy Says here on The Toy Insider. This week I have a very special little guest with me in the studio. Wow, did you know I was talking to you? This is Koji. Koji is, um, he is from a company called Wowie, and Koji is a robot that will teach your children how to code. So you're like, what does that mean? Um, so basically, um, writing software code, computer code, actually boils down to um, knowing, you know, how to put things in a series, and if I do this, then this will happen, and then if I do this, this will happen. And so to get your children to start thinking along the lines of the way a computer thinks, and by the way, this isn't just useful for um, teaching your kids how to code. I believe that this is just very useful for living in the very technical world that we live in now because, um, you know, sometimes, because I do, I did learn some uh, basic computer programming when I was in my teens because I was really interested in um, computers back in the dark ages of computers. I, um, I am able to think through, like problem solve when something technical isn't working. And I know a lot of people who don't necessarily, haven't really trained their brains to think like a computer, really can't do that. So I think this is helpful just in general for working with the technical world and being able to problem solve anything from your printer not working, the copy machine at work, something you're trying to do on your computer, learning how to think in a series and, and, and think the way Koji, you know, is going to teach your kids to think and process is really important. So um, this is Koji's box. He's so cute, but he is a little talkative. Um, so Koji is, I love it, it's learn to code with a smile. So he's a really, really cute little dude. Um, and uh, he works on Bluetooth with um, either your phone or your iPad or anything like that. Um, let me see what else he does because I, of course, didn't. And he's just adorable. In addition to being an educational tool, he's also a lot of fun. So look at how much they shake him. What was that movie, Short Circuit? Was, what was his name, Johnny Five? I'm like, you can play with Koji without the app. So you can just take him out of the box, put in three AAA batteries, hand it to your kid and go, all right, start pushing buttons, have fun, let me know how it goes. Um, so let's start pushing buttons. Do you like it when I push your, do you like it when I do that? Um, his arms are movable, which is kind of cute. So, you know, you can kind of pose him. I love that he just keeps making noise. <laughs> he just loves it when you touch him. Is there a button for this? Oh, I'm going to push down on his head. Oh! <laughs> Koji can bust a move. I love that. That is so cute. <laughs> I got a new little buddy. <laughs> I love it. There we go. So now we've got, whoop, where'd, you, where'd your little happy emoji face go? Oh no, that's a kissy one. <laughs> Hearts. Oh, that's a happy emoji. Ah, mad emoji. Oh, oh, that's a bad one. Oh, it's the ghost. Okay, so we've got the mouse. You push it. Really, the mouse roars? Oh, what's that? Ooh, and now uh, Koji would be moving if if I had him on the table right now, but I wanted you to see the emojis. So, so it the app is like super kid friendly, lots of you know bright colors, and I mean this is definitely made for younger kids, but that doesn't mean that some of us don't in, enjoy it. Okay, and there's a game in here that's called Sequence Says, and basically what this game is right here is it's like Simon Says, but we have to follow along with 
the emojis that we see on Koji's face and we have to tap those emojis on the screen here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try to be looking at Koji and at, uh-oh, I wasn't paying attention. Dude, what was that you just showed everybody? Was it the lion? I don't know, I'm gonna tap the lion. Okay, to pay attention, oh. Okay, you're doing the snail, okay. It's the snail. Yay, <laughs> got one right. <laughs> My best score so far. And that's basically the whole idea behind Koji is teaching kids how to follow sequences and training their brains between what they need, they know, they need that. Training their brains to say, okay, I know I need to get there. So how do I tell the computer how to get there? And it's very, very basic. I understand you're like, this is like so, like how is this teaching my kid? But it really, really is teaching your kid how to tell a computer what to do. Um, thank you so much for watching Mommy Says this week. And um, if you have any questions about Koji or other um, coding toys, um, you know, just put them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them for you. I do want to try out some of the other coding toys that are coming out. So there will be more videos here on the Toy Insider with some of the new ones that are coming out, like the, the code. I don't, I'm not sure it's called Code Pillar, but it should be because it's a caterpillar that teaches you code. Uh, so I'll be um, reviewing those for the Toy Insider as we uh, get the march to the holidays begins, uh, but feel free to ask me questions down below in the comments. And thank you again to the Toy Insider for giving me this little corner of your YouTube channel. Uh, next week, G will be back with G Says, and the week after that, uh, Billy will be back with, um, with, with Billy Says. So yeah, everybody's saying something. <laughs> thank you guys so much, have a great day, bye!